Sometimes having less is best. A triple screen setup for laptops, which enhances the overall experience, but on a smaller scale. This device is small and portable, which can be put into about any bag, but still big enough to offer extra screens. Think of like a Husky versus a Corgi. Both are wonderful breeds, but one is more pocket friendly. This plug and place up is easy to use, and it offers enough to really be interesting. Hey, welcome back, it's V, let's get started. I was sent a triple screen setup to review, I was not paid to review this. These are my thoughts and only my thoughts. I've reviewed a handful of these in the past from big to biggest, multi-form transformers, and even stacked monitors, but this one is quite a bit different compared to all those. Everyone is always going for the biggest and most powerful devices. This one goes more so in the opposite direction, going more so for portability. This is by a company called Z Right now you can pick this up off their own website or Amazon for about $500 listed down below. This is the Zbic Tri-Screen 2. I like this one better because it's smaller, it values portability with functionality. When hauling around any triple screen setup, it feels like hauling around like an extra laptop. They tend to be bigger and bulkier. This version is small enough, it can be put into about any bag. It has a smaller footprint and the weight is very minimal. Half the time I don't even know it's there. I was also also send the adapter to connect to older laptops and the air sand, more of an angled typing experience. When unboxing this, there are some nice colorful graphics all the way around. This might be the best unboxing experience I've done. It really adds some nice character to the box. It offers a little bit more over your standard black and white boxes. Inside the box is the Tri-Screen 2, which it is fairly lightweight, around 900 grams. The build quality is plastic, which it is decent. It doesn't feel premium or it's not metal, but they do this to keep the weight down. It's not what you would expect for the price point, but it does make sense to keep it as light as possible. There are two Type-C to Type-C cables. Alongside that, there are two mini HDMI to Type-C cables. It's your pretty standard stuff for these types of devices. Depending on the laptop, different cables for different laptops. You also have the instructions and a bunch of colorful stickers. I sort of get the Urban Outfitter vibe here. For my general setup, I only need the Type-C to Type-C cables. The HDMI cables will be living in the box. The adapter here is also made from plastic and it has the same design language as a tri-screen. If certain laptops don't have USB-C for video out or HDMI, this adapter is good because it'll connect USB-A to Type-C for video. Roughly this goes for about $50 on Amazon. The AirSan runs for about $30 off Amazon. It does get bundled in occasionally. It attaches to the bottom of the laptop with adhesive strips. It has like a rubber feel to it. It gives a few different angles for the laptop. After using this for about a week, it's still going strong. This device is much lighter compared to the other ones I've used. 900 grams versus 2000. It's constructed from plastic. The build quality is decent. I've been testing other ones which are made from either metal or aluminum. Going back to plastic is a small step down. The screens slide out from the backside on rails to keep them hidden and protected. There are two 10 inch 1920 by 1280 IPS panels. 60 hertz refresh and we'll get up to about 300 nits of brightness. The viewing angle is more on the better side because they are IPS panels. This can be used on any laptop from 12 inches up to 20 inches. It basically covers a whole spectrum of laptop sizes. On the bottom there are three inputs, two Type-C either for charging or video out, and one mini HDMI port. Both screens can move forward or back about 100 degrees for the best possible viewing angle. There are fabric flaps on the sides to make it easier to pull out each screen. Occasionally the screens might get stuck on the rails. A quick tug will pull them out. Overall the build quality here is on the better side. The kickstand is stiff. It can extend out about an extra inch on any surface. Everything can be angled to find that proper sweet spot. I reviewed a few of these and usually the kickstand can be hit or miss. Here it is decent. It gets the job done. It could be better, but I do wish there was a second kickstand on the other side. On top of each screen, you do have the power button and volume rocker. These are also used to navigate the settings. The settings here are pretty familiar with the other ones I reviewed. This will work with any generation a MacBook, Intel, or M series. Windows computers and other devices will work here as well. I have the M3 Max 16 inch, and even though the screens are bigger, it works well here. It's a pretty secured fit. This device is small, it's light enough. I shouldn't have to worry about having too much weight on my laptop's hinge. The kickstand is long enough to help offset the weight. There are two fabric flaps to easily pull out the screens. Each screen can move forward or back about 100 degrees for the best viewable angle. With my setup here, I don't 
don't really need any cables or adapters besides the type C ones. On my laptop, I typically go to the settings to rearrange the screens how I like it. This does offer pass-through charging for my laptop around 60 watts. It doesn't really charge my laptop, it just drains the battery a bit slower because my laptop needs about 80 watts to stay current. After a while, it only takes about 2 minutes to set everything up. The panels here are pretty comparable to my MacBook Pro screen. The colors won't be as good, but they are on the better side. I've reviewed about half a dozen of these devices, and some of the screens can look washed out or they have terrible viewing angles to keep that lower price point. This is one thing people should never cheap out on are the panels. Here the viewing angles on the panels look really well. I do wish the brightness was a little bit brighter, maybe about 400 nits, but I mean they're good enough for what they offer. It's not the best outdoors, but it's good against a window indoors. The blacks do look fairly black, maybe a bit brighter compared to my laptop, but the whites look fairly consistent between both devices. I wanted to use this for color correction projects but to assist overall projects. With my MacBook Pro, everything works like normal. The back brackets have a nice secured fit to the screen. Nothing really feels loose. The kickstand will offset the weight a little bit, so not everything will be on my laptop's hinge. Usually I will have the screens tilted back a little bit so the weight will be even everywhere. With limited desk area at let's say a coffee shop or a library, this is more ideal because the overall footprint is smaller. I would say this price screen is more ideal for a MacBook Air or an Ultra book, but it will work with any laptop. Even on a lap, this will kind of work. With my 16 inch, 13 inch, or 15 inch panels would be more ideal compared to 10 inches. These panels overall aren't meant for main projects, but to enhance everything such as browsing the web, research info, or just killing time watching videos like this one. So click to subscribe. Everything works pretty easy here. A nice plug and play device. Nothing really crazy with these screens for general workflow. Even with bigger ones, I have, I usually use them for organizing organization, Word documents, and really administrative stuff really. These aren't ideal for playing games because they are only 60 hertz and maybe some light mobile gaming. Overall these work well with my laptop and they're a nice companion device for anyone who travels for work or school and just needs something extra without much bulk. On the other end of the spectrum with Windows, this type of device should work about the same as MacBook Pros. I do have a budget Asus laptop which is very entry level, 8GB RAM, 12th gen i5 and 256 gigabytes of storage. Very basic and entry level. It works well for browsing the web, watching videos, email, the usual stuff. Maybe very basic gaming on low settings. That OLED screen is very nice though. I do like how Asus puts premium screens on budget laptops. Because screens are always the main component people use, that's one thing that should never have any compromises. Anywho, with Windows, this will work the best here with multiple screens, touch screens, different aspect ratios. This also has snapping different screens and better organization features. Apple is still behind on this. With this up, I just need two Type-C to Type-C cables and everything works because it is plug and play. Both screens extended to my laptop. It is a nice secured fit. Nothing feels loose. Whatever I throw at this from multiple windows, browsers, applications, video, solitaire, and even paint, everything works well here. There is a little slowdown here, but that's because my machine is very entry level. Same thing as my MacBook. This overall enhances the portable laptop experience with two smaller screens with a very minimal footprint. Overall this gets a passing grade with Windows and MacBooks. At some point I do test my iPads out on these for science. Plug and play devices will work with these screens with USB-C, Nintendo Switches, Game Consoles, Steam Decks, Chromebooks, iPads, Samsung phones with Dex, just to name a few. Everything should work with this. But compared to OLEDs, Micro LED and others, these really cannot compete. Screen mirroring with my Mini 6 and Stage Manager with my 13 inch M4, nothing is out of place here. Most other devices should work with this just fine. This triple screen setup is a bit on the smaller side, more ideal for an Air or an Ultrabook, but it can accommodate any laptop size. Granted 10 inches seems to be on the smaller size, but it's how you use it is what really matters. 13 inch and 15 inch is more ideal for this, for like a better workflow, but it's also bulkier, heavier, and it feels like I'm carrying around 
another laptop. The Travis Crane 2 is smaller, lighter, and can fit in most bags. It can easily be used on a train, a boat, a plane, with a fox or a goat. The build quality is a decent plastic compared to metal, which does keep the weight down. Zebic does sell a bigger version called the Zebic Snap, which caters to the power users with the snapping screens where you can rotate with bigger displays. Overall, this product isn't perfect, but it does enough for people who want a smaller, more portable, travel friendly setup, which it does quite well with the smaller size. The panels look great for what they offer, but I do wish they were a little bit brighter, but it's really not a deal breaker. It's not the greatest in direct sunlight, but it's good in like a home office or library. Setup time is pretty straightforward. It only takes about a minute or two to get everything going. It's not overly complicated. A simple plug and play device for the masses who some might think is sort of cute. Not a powerhouse with giant 4K panels, but a better portable solution with a smaller footprint. So like always, it's V-C-Classy.